What's up, what's going on guys? It's Migs with Polar Pro. We have a new video for you guys this week. Today we have two amazing laptops. One is the Microsoft Surface Book 2, which is the most powerful hybrid laptop in Microsoft's line, and the 2018 MacBook Pro. Today we're gonna stack these two laptops head to head on a benchmarking test to see if it's worth spending an extra thousand dollars for this laptop, or will the Surface Book 2 handle and perform just as well as the Apple's i9 processor. And we will see which laptop is the best for on-the-go videographer. We're always shooting on the road as traveling creatives. We know that having a strong computer means we're saving time, and we've heard it over and over that time is money. So we just got done filming for the day and we're back at our campsite here in Sequoia National Park which is a perfect opportunity for us to test these two machines and two criteria: performance and design. For the Surface Book that we're using for this video, we have a 15-inch Core i7 model with an NVIDIA GTX 1060 graphics card. And for the MacBook Pro, on the other hand, we have the 2018 model with i9 processor that has 32 gigabytes of RAM and the Radeon Pro 560X graphics card. So we're gonna put these two computers side by side to see how it performs by testing import speed, playback, adding effects, and we will see how long it takes to export the final video. So we've been dumping our footage into this lacy drive all day. It's around 80 gigs. We're gonna see how long it takes to import. Sweet, so import is done on the Surface Book 2. In 12 minutes, we lost around 6% battery life, so we're gonna move on to the MacBook Pro to see what results we can get with import speeds. So while this is importing, Let's talk about the build quality and design of these two laptops. And while we're at it, it's getting pretty cold out here, so much better. All right, so let's talk about the Surface Book 2's design and build. So the Surface Book 2 is made out of magnesium, which is much lighter than the MacBook Pro that's made out of aluminum. Although this laptop is lighter than the MacBook Pro, it's not as thin because of the fulcrum hinges that it has on the back. Something I noticed is the trackpad is slightly smaller than the MacBook Pro. So if you have big fingers, you might not have enough real estate when you're using it. So what's really cool about the Surface Book 2 is it has a detachable screen. Another cool thing about the Surface Book 2 is it has two 3.0 USB ports and a card reader, which is really important for on-the-go videographers. On the other side, it has a charging port, USB-C slot, and it has the audio jack. All right, sweet, that looks like it's done importing. It took about the same time as the Surface Book 2, which is 12 minutes. The only difference is, which is really impressive, is that it only took 5% of his battery life. Now let's talk about the design of the MacBook Pro. Apple's MacBook Pro has always been a remarkable piece of hardware and a benchmark for premium laptops. But unlike the Surface Book 2, the MacBook Pro only has four USB-C slots, which could be really annoying because you have to buy a bunch of different dongles for your card reader, your hard drive, and anything that needs a USB. So there's no doubt that Apple's minimalistic and sleek design will outshine the Surface Book 2. But Microsoft's design and build quality is right up there with Apple's, and it's very impressive. So depending on your preference, each laptop contains its own unique features. The MacBook has its touch bar, while the Surface Book 2 has a detachable display. All right, cool, so we have all of our clips imported into Premiere, so we're gonna play it back unrendered. Playing 4K footage full resolution right now on both computers. Seems like the Surface Book 2 is playing smoothly, no lag right now. MacBook obviously is playing super smooth. Seems like it's doing fine right now. Oh, there you go. You can see that there was a little bit of lag in the Surface Book 2, around 30 seconds of the clip. MacBook is still doing just fine. Let's pause that. All right, so we're gonna hit L to fast forward the footage on the timeline. 
and see which one goes faster. All right, as you guys can see, the Surface Book 2 is lagging a little bit while the MacBook Pro is working just fine. The Surface Book doesn't seem to be handling this as well as the MacBook Pro is. So now we're gonna press L two times to make it go even faster. All right, see how the frame stopped over here on the Surface Book 2 while the MacBook is still performing pretty smooth. And there we go, it's lagging a little bit. Let me scrub through the timeline over here. It's a little jumpy with the Surface Book. And then we're gonna try with the MacBook. A little smoother, it's similar, but a little smoother. So we're gonna add an effect to the clips on the timeline. We're gonna use Warp Stabilizer just to keep it simple. We're gonna drop both of them at the same time. All right, so the MacBook Pro is done and it looks like the Surface Book still needs a minute to finish. So the Surface Book 2 is definitely taking twice as long as the MacBook Pro. It's definitely slower, but that's a thousand dollars difference in computer price. So now let's jump into exporting our timelines. We know it's not gonna be the same export times, but we're gonna see how slow the Surface Book is gonna perform. So now that they're in Media Encoder, we're gonna press the play button at the same time to see how long they take to export. All right, sweet. So the Surface Book 2 just finished at 10.39, while the MacBook finished at 10.36. So for a three minute timeline, the MacBook Pro is only faster than the Surface Book 2 by three minutes. So export wise, the Surface Book 2 came a little bit slower than the MacBook Pro, but it's still pretty great compared to other laptops that are cheaper than both of these. So with all that being said and done, both laptops are powerful and built well. Spec-wise, obviously the 2018 MacBook Pro will outshine the Surface Book 2. But what's surprising is the Surface Book 2 actually handled pretty well compared to the Apple's i9 processor. All right, so for import speeds, there's not that much difference there. It took 12 minutes for both laptops. For playbacks, the Surface Book 2 actually struggled 20 seconds in when we were scrubbing through the footage. And when we added a warp stabilizer, this is where the MacBook actually takes it over the Surface Book 2 because the Surface Book 2 actually took twice as long to get the effect on the clip. And for export speeds, the MacBook was definitely faster than the Surface Book 2, but it's not by that much. It was only three minutes faster. Overall, the test results are pretty impressive knowing that the MacBook Pro is $4,200, $1,000 more expensive than the $3,200 Surface Book 2. All right guys, so it's getting pretty late. Keep it cool, stay awesome by hitting that subscription button to keep up with our adventures and we will see you guys on the next one. Deuce.